This post-apocalyptic world looks like most futuristic worlds, crowded and dirty. The people all lie in the streets as they go about their daily lives, and the robots seem to march up and down the streets, keeping the peace with little to zero regard for anyone or anything that may be in their pathway. There's humans without cyborg enhancement, and there's cybernetically enhanced people. There's a sporting event that involves a ball and supercharged rollerblades, and there's also what seems to be one man controlling everything from his city up in the sky. Life seems to go on in Iron City until a brand new weapon is discovered one day, and that's where the story begins. So is Alita Battle Angel as action-packed and entertaining as the trailer suggests, or is this Battle Angel softer than Angel Soft Toilet Paper? Let's talk about it in this review. This film is fun, folks. F-U-N fun. I didn't realize walking into the theater how much enjoyment I would actually get out of this picture. The release date was pushed back almost a year from July 2018 to February of 2019, and it wasn't pushed back once, but twice. So my expectation was set pretty low as I was walking to my seat. That being said, the story surprised me despite how fast it actually moves. If you were looking for a lot of character development and world building, just go ahead and throw all of that out the car window on your drive to the theater. There's absolutely no time to waste in this picture as we get a very high level overview of the people in the city, what their jobs are, who Alita is, and why she is a threat and a challenge to this current societal structure. You get just enough information to understand what's going on with all of the action that's happening on the big screen, but you're not going to get much more than that. So turn your brain off, relax, and just go in and have a good time, folks. Loosen up. It's 2019. The character of Alita is actually from a very distant past, and she has warrior training, and she uses a very particular and very specific brand of martial arts that was only happening during the time that she was around. And she also has a bodysuit that can heal or repair itself once we get closer to the end of the film. And once she embraces what her capabilities are and how powerful she is, there's really little that can stand in her way, especially with the help of her closest allies. The battle sequences that we get with her in them look like a CGI party gone wild, and I loved it. There's robot dogs, there's a guy who throws chain spears from his fingers, and there's also a robot bounty hunter who cares about his looks so much he actually comes across as a pretty boy robot. It was all absurd, insane nonsense, and I was eating it up. I feel like this film really embraced the outrageous nature that this story takes place in. And because of that, I was all smiles. The actors in this film all did a fine job too, because with a film like this, it is very, very likely, very possible that their performances could really lean towards that kind of B-movie cheese, but I'm happy to report they did not. Each of their roles was taken seriously, which added to the overall enjoyment factor that I had watching this film as well. Now, there are a villain or two in this picture that kind of lean towards that more B-movie and kind of a little bit more cheese, a little bit more over the top, feeling more caricature than actual character, but it worked. It never felt out of place. It never felt forced. And again, it just continues to add fun layer on fun layer for this particular story. And this review wouldn't be complete if I didn't give a shout out to Mahershala Ali because he had to play a character with split personalities. At one point, he is a cold and calculating crime boss, and then the guy in the sky takes over his brain and in his eyes, and he's even more cold, more determined, and more sinister. Then within that exact same scene, or scenes, he has to flip back to the crime boss with ease. And I just want to say kudos on a job well done. Alita Battle Angel is playing at your local movie theater right now, and if you enjoy films that are just a popcorn munching good time, I'm definitely going to recommend you guys check this one out on the big screen. And again, because the release date of this film was pushed back not once, but twice, I did walk into the theater with very low expectations. But I walked out with a smile, and I really enjoyed my time in this world. Again, it's really fast-paced. You don't get a lot of character development. There's not a lot of world-building going on, but you do get enough that you're able to kind of understand what's going on as we move from one CGI-fueled battle or skirmish to another. Also, again, keeping with how quick the film moves, you're going to want to keep your eyes peeled towards the end of the second act because we find out one of the main characters in this film finally gets her wish, but it was definitely not in the way I'm sure she was expecting. Uh, pretty big shocker there as far as I was concerned in this film. So definitely keep your eyes open for that one because if you blink, you might miss it. So for these reasons, Alita Battle Angel will be getting at least one high five from this guy. Alita Battle Angel is playing at your local movie theater right now. Go check this one out.